This is a 24 inch Apple cinema display. Should you buy this display in 2023? Well, it's a pretty loaded question because this monitor right here is 15 years old, which is probably older than some of the people watching this video, which is crazy because I feel like 15 years ago was a long time. <laughs> And this monitor originally was designed in 2008 up until the Thunderbolt displays were sold. This is a 24 inch cinema display. It comes with the same sort of attachments that the Thunderbolt display came with, comes with in the back in terms of cabling. It's got a USB cable, a mini display port, and a MagSafe charger. The biggest difference here is that the mini display port cable is not a Thunderbolt enabled cable, which is really good because that means you can use it from anywhere from a Mac all the way up to a PC if you so pleased, because you can just adapt mini display port to standard full size display port and run this monitor at its full display and its full aspect ratio and its full resolution. The resolution of this thing is 1920 by 1200. It really is a beautiful display. They don't make displays like this. Every display that can be had for the same price point as this isn't going to look nearly as good, but does that mean you should buy it? Now, first, I just wanna go over the overall design of this display. Obviously, the bezels are insane. This is a massively thick and chunky bezel right here, but it still is a beautiful display. It's got a full metal stand, full metal rear. I mean, it's a nice looking display. Again, it's 15 years old, so you're gonna have to ask yourself, do you really wanna put a bunch of money into a display that is 15 years old at this point? The next is the panel. It's a TFT display. I don't fully understand the difference between TFT, LED, OLED, all the, whatever. I, there are a few differences. TFT displays typically have worse viewing angles, but they do get much brighter. And so this display is pretty bright. And one of the best things with the fact that this is an Apple branded display is the fact that you can adjust the brightness on the display with your Mac. That's remarkable. This is this is like the best feature, I think. Just going like this. I have I, I use and edit a piece on a PC. That's my primary computer. Being able to adjust the display brightness from your keyboard is amazing. I don't know if that's a thing on other monitors. I don't own a monitor that you can do that on. That's a great feature. That is an underrated feature of this display and of all Apple displays is that they work within the software and the fact that this monitor is 15 years old and still receives support within Mac OS is also really remarkable. I know people hate on Apple, but that's that's pretty cool. So the price of this thing is $150. That's about what you're gonna pay on eBay. If you find it locally on Facebook, you're probably gonna pay significantly less, probably closer to 100 or maybe even 80. I would never pay more than $100 for this. I would never buy the ones off of eBay for 150. I think that's just ridiculous. I think that this is a nice display. It looks pretty good. But for 150 bucks, 100 bucks, you can get a very similar display. It doesn't have maybe quite the same color accuracy that this, this display does because something to keep in mind is that this, this display at the time was exceedingly expensive. And there is, you have to find the balance between buying old expensive products, like products that were originally really expensive and products now that are the same price as that product is now used but that product that you're purchasing, the alternative is new. If you're buying a new $100 monitor, this is probably a better option. I mean, you can get a decent monitor for a hundred bucks, but it's not gonna have the same color accuracy. It's not going to just have the same integration with Mac OS if you are a Mac user. If you're not a Mac user, definitely don't buy this. I really wouldn't suggest using it. I couldn't get the speakers to work on my computer. And I also couldn't get the brightness to work. Maybe there's some type of little software you could download, but I don't I don't love downloading strange software from the internet. So for the price, it's an okay deal. I mean, it's not gonna knock your socks off. It's got decent speakers, which is something that for a lot of people, I I'm not an audiophile. I listen to the majority of my content either on AirPods or using the speakers out of my phone. So I think the, the vast majority of people are going to have a better listening experience on here than they would if they're playing it out of their phone. Keep in mind, I listen, whenever I'm using a computer, I'm always using headphones, over the ear headphones. So that's not really a problem for me, but it does have nice speakers, which is, which is uncommon for monitors today. I know I have a monitor, an MSI 165 Hertz monitor, that doesn't have speakers. It's not something that's always important, but sometimes when you just need to check to see if something's working to, to get a little bit of audio, to get a little bit of feedback on your computer and it doesn't play and it doesn't have a speaker, it is a little bit of a hindrance, but I understand why a lot of modern displays don't have it because they're a lot thinner. This one is pretty thick. It's pretty thick, but it's still, again, it's, it's, such, a, it's such a nice looking display. It really, really is. 
So should you ultimately buy this display in 2023? You're looking at this video, so you're definitely interested in one. The, the question I would ask you is, how much are you getting it for? Are you getting it for less than 100? Are you getting it for $80? Are you a Mac user? Are you going to continue to be a Mac user in the future? Because these are all questions you need to ask yourself. These displays, they're very nice. Apple makes very nice products that typically last a very long time, especially in terms of technology. But technology does change and it changes really fast. And especially display technology over the last 15 years, it really has advanced quite substantially. But at the time, this was a really advanced display. I mean, it's a 1200 by 1920 aspect ratio. It's a 60 hertz monitor. It's got pretty decent colors. I mean, it's got much better colors than the... Uh, cheap MSI monitor that I would compare it to in terms of price. So you, you really have to determine what your use case is. Are you somebody that just likes Apple stuff, Apple branded stuff? Well, this is probably a good monitor for you. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. If you like Apple stuff, you want it to work really well within your Apple ecosystem, whether that, that be you have a Mac mini or you have a MacBook, whatever that may be, this is going to be a solid monitor for you. Now, there are a lot of risks when you tackle and buy a monitor that's this old, this is a 15 year old monitor. I mean, that can't be stressed enough. This monitor could be five seconds from dying. We have no idea. I mean, this this monitor right here could last another 10, 15 years. It also could die tomorrow. And people would say, wow, that lasted 15 years. That's actually a really long time for a monitor. So that's something you need to consider. And that's a pro and con you need to weigh. I mean, you're getting the design, you're getting the camera that's built in, you're getting all of the things that are great about this monitor that are built into the Apple ecosystem, but it comes at a price. It's not that the actual dollar amount is high, it's the fact that it's an old monitor. So the price is, will this thing die in six months? Will it make it three years? I mean, if you're just using this as a secondary monitor with your Apple branded uh, computer, I think it's actually a decent buy, but please, please, please buy it locally. Shipping these things are a complete pain in the butt. Most people don't have the original box. And if they do have the original box, they're probably gonna charge you a premium. And if they don't have the original box, they're gonna box it up in some kind of sketchy way. And it's potentially going to get damaged on the way there. So I would highly suggest buying it locally, testing it out, looking for some display defects. There are some things with these monitors where you'll get dust and water underneath the LCD panel and it'll make it a lot foggier and a little bit harder to see. So w does this get the Techno Eclipse approval? I would say it kind of does. I, I, I'm an Apple sheep at heart. I really love their products. They, they last a long time. I, I prefer Apple stuff. And this is just one of the things that I like. I mean, it's not that expensive. It's not something that's going to completely dramatically impact your financial future if you were to go ahead and buy this. And at the end of the day, it's kind of cool having a monitor that works so seamlessly with the Apple ecosystem. And it's something that is probably going to maintain its value. If you buy it for 80 or 100 bucks today, it's going to maintain its value over the next three, four years. I mean, this thing's 15 years old. If it hasn't gone down, if it hasn't gone to 20 bucks now, it's never going to go that low. So you're probably never going to lose your money on the investment. It's not a ton of money to lose. Even if you lost 50% on an $80 investment, you're only losing 40 bucks. And if you used it for three years, that's that's a pretty good trade off. That's That's like less than 30 cents a day or something like that. Uh, or less than three cents a day. I think if you find a good deal on one, go ahead and pick it up. <laughs> I hate how much I like this. Like it's 15 years old, I'm an idiot. And I know I, should, I shouldn't like this because there are better monitors that are OLED and that are 5,000 Hertz and the, they're better for gaming and everything. But at the end of the day, Apple builds products that makes your life easier and they make my life easier. And I'm not going to sit here and say that they're not better because of it. So thank you guys for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. This has been Scott with Techno Eclipse. Peace out.